try something fun. I want to try and build the tallest tiny house on Bloxburg. Bloxburg does have a limit of the amount of floors that you can actually build. As you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, they, they don't let us go any more than five. But if we make a basement, that would basically be six floors in Bloxburg. Does that make my house the tallest Bloxburg house to ever exist? Huh? Let's just pretend it is. <laughs> Instead of doing just a boring old square house, what if we do something like this, where the walls go in on the corners every now and then? Before we start decorating this house, I would like to give a quick thank you to Razer for sending me the products that I am actually using for gaming today, which are these Roblox Times Razer collaboration headsets, along with my mouse and also the keyboard that I'm using, which is absolutely awesome. If you guys would like to check out these items yourself the link will be in the description thank you so much razor for sending me these and now for the main floor i was thinking we could have like an entrance slash living room space because we do want to make this like an actual house so we need a bedroom a bathroom a living room and whatever else i can fit in all the rooms oh three by three is actually quite bigger than i expected it to be so i think we're gonna put this sleek sofa and then we're gonna have another one here in this corner so this tv can go on the wall over here and then we could probably have like a tv stand and on these couches of course we have to add in some pillows we got to make our living room look actually comfortable so i really like the traditional windows these i feel like they're so fancy <gasps> maybe i can have it on that side and then maybe i can have maybe this side too I put this mesh board with some photos and some sticky notes because it also fills up the area. I feel like once this is all colored, it can look better. Since the middle of the room is quite empty, I was thinking of adding this custom carpet. And then later on, I can change it into a nice decal. This is not the typical color scheme that I usually go for, but for some reason, I'm really liking how this is turning out. Maybe we'll just stick to a white, I guess, because white matches everything. And then we have the pop of color with all the other things like the, the pillows and everything like that so it's fine it's fine and now the second floor i was thinking of having a bedroom so where is the best place to have the bed that looks a little claustrophobic i was thinking of adding a fence over here and coloring it white just so you don't fall when you wake up you know you could just like wake up and just walk and then you fall down the ladder and since this is a bedroom, I do want to add in a desk. I really like these chairs. For some reason, they just scream aesthetic. So I'm going to put that down there. <gasps> we also need a dresser. Wait, don't they have those small fancy dressers? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay, so we're going to... Should I have it there or should I have it there? And then we'll have this mirror over here just, just because. It could be like our makeup mirror, I guess. And now we just have to color the bedroom. I'm going to use the same exact color I used in the living room just so every everything matches i'll have some light pink slippers just to match the whole entire pastel theme and i also do want a carpet i think the carpet will be something like that okay and i also need curtains i forgot that downstairs and i'm gonna get these curtains and also place them inside of the living room perfect we have a two rooms completed this one looks quite bright but i promise you once it has like a roof or something there you go it looks a lot better now I think what we should build is probably... <gasps> we need a kitchen. This room is like a different shape because I wanted it to make it look a little extra. But how are we going to make a kitchen in this such weird uh, shaped room? We'll make it work, okay? We'll make it work. I, I have faith in myself. We could probably have the fridge in this corner. And now we're going to have one counter there and we need a stove. And then in this corner, I could put like a little table, maybe like a desk, one of these and like put it inside of the fridge. I also think I should probably put down some cabinets just for some storage space. I'm going to place down my microwave right there. Seems very claustrophobic. And then the walls, I'll just keep doing the same exact color. Maybe I'll add in some tiles for these walls because this is a kitchen and I do want to spice it up a little bit. That looks nice. I really like this one. So I'm going to stick with this. Okay, wait, I, I want to do this tile for the, the kitchen. I've never used this texture either. This is this is me using a ton of different things that I typically don't use. And now we need some appliances for our kitchen. Of course, we have to have a blender. So I'll probably put a blender in this corner. We could probably put down a hood there. Maybe a toaster would look cute. I like tea better than coffee. So a tea kettle can go in this corner. Do you see? See the 
this teal? I don't even know how I made that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm definitely using this for everything else in my kitchen. It reminds me of cotton candy. I, I think I'm gonna just stick with this theme. Is this too much? Instead, I'll probably have the placemat like that. That looks fine. Okay, it's more balanced now. <laughs> Isn't there a sink that goes on the wall? Maybe I can add that like right there. That looks so out of place, but we do need a sink in the kitchen. There's no way we can't have one. To make it look less out of place, I'm gonna use this basic shape and just put it like underneath and resize it. So this is our kitchen. I quite like how it turned out. So we have three rooms completed. I think we can have this floor be a bathroom because it's like in the middle of all the floors. So it's accessible. Do you know those like hotel rooms where the sink is outside and then inside is like the toilet and the shower. So it's like more privacy. I don't know if I can make that. Maybe if I use some custom shapes, I can make a wall that isn't too claustrophobic. Pretend it's an actual wall and then this can be like the doorway. So wait, that means that I have to custom make my door. How exciting. <laughs> Does that door design look good? I can't really decide. And wait, how should the door open? I didn't quite think this through. Okay, so is that like the door to the bathroom? So it just opens weird. So the toilet is going to be on this side. This is a very big space for a toilet. So for this sink, I might have to use this one. I need a mirror, so maybe I can resize this. Perfect. Where should a window be placed? I think I'm gonna put a window here since I have nothing else to cover that wall and we still need access to it because we need to go up the ladder through that way. When you come out of the bathroom, you gotta wipe your feet. So I'm gonna place down a small carpet here for that reason. <gasps> I could put paintings on this wall. Okay, since this is like a, a custom wall, I wasn't sure if I could place paintings, but apparently I can. So I'm gonna leave that there. We do also need some soap. So I'm gonna place that down on the sink. Let's take a look at our finished the tallest of Bloxburg house. So I decorated the outside very slightly, added some pink bushes just to match the pastel theme that I have going on. You walk inside and here is the living room space. This is totally like different than the style I go for, but I really like how this whole house turned out. So this is the living room, of course. This is the main floor. If we go downstairs, we have the master bedroom and then we have some other pastel colors we have our beautiful view over here the best you can't get better than that <laughs> and then if we go up to the second floor here is the kids bedroom or like a single bedroom for one person we have a desk area over here and then just like a bed with a mirror and some slippers and a dresser so it basically has all the necessities okay so here is the kitchen and we even have our custom working sink so we could like wash our hands in the sink right before we start cooking and if we go up but one more floor, I jump. Here is our bathroom floor. So the door, um, you have to do a little jump over it to actually get past, but it's functional, okay? Here is our sink area. And then if you walk inside, we have our shower and also our toilet. Yeah, there, that's all there is to it. And then here is our very final floor which is like, I don't know, like a chilling out area type of thing along with like at night, you can close these or you can open them and watch the stars with this telescope. It's also like a, a little area for you to paint, I guess. So in total, we have six different floors in this Bloxburg tiniest, tallest house. Let me know down below what you would rate the build out of 10. Make sure to subscribe.